app for water rights and land ownership. Uh, it's uh, web-based and it's, uh, it's cloud-based, so you, you, know, you don't have to install any software on your computer. When you first pull up the map for the state you select, uh, this is what you see, the satellite imagery for the entire state. You can search from this point by an owner name, by a water right number, by a source, so you can search an entire river and it will bring up all the rights on the river and then you can filter back to find what you're looking for. You can do a legal description search or you can just draw a box. So if you have a particular area in mind, we'll zoom in. Do you have a particular area in eastern Montana you'd like to see? Yeah, I'd like to see around Baker. So it'll be south of there. Baker, yeah. So there's Sydney. A little bit further south. There you go. Getting close. There we go. Baker. Okay, so we'll zoom in around Baker. And because it's a satellite imagery, you can see all the features. Anywhere in particular? Oh. In this area? I'll just pick a spot. Yeah. Okay. I, I would do that. Just so let's, here, let's zoom in a little more. And then we'll do a box search. So let's click box search. Okay. And we'll just search this area. And it will pull up two different kinds of shapes. It'll pull up green shapes for land ownership and blue shapes for water rights. Wow. When you mouse over the green shapes, it brings up the landowner and that's for Montana right out of the Montana cadastral. Yep. We, it varies for each state that we do and we yeah. customize it so for Wyoming it comes from the counties, from Colorado from the counties. Then the water rights data uh, we pull from Montana from the state engineer's office. We pulled up 15 water rights and uh, you can turn the water rights information off to see all the land ownership. Uh, you can also add section lines and you can filter by priority by flow, uh, so if you just want to find large rights or old rights, you can do that. You can filter by owners, so if you only want to see certain owners, you can do that. You can filter by uses, so if you just want to see the municipal rights, or you just want to see stock rights or industrial rights, uh, you can filter in that way. You can filter by surface or ground. You can focus by means of diversion. So if you just want to see the wells, you can add the wells back in. So it's a really quick way to just find the wells that are associated with an area. Uh, and operators have been using that for the water quality. It's a way to just get what's within that half mile radius um, really quickly. You can also filter by counties. Then you can work with your list of the 15 water rights that are brought back, or you can work with the map. So if you wanted to know what is diverted here, you can click on it, and it'll highlight it in the map and bring it to the top of the list. Uh, also, if you wanted to know well, what is this well, you can click on it and it will bring that to the top of the list. So for anything you select, um, it'll interact between. Then when you select a right down here, it brings up a summary so you can see that this is a municipal right for the city of Baker. It's a 1918 right. Uh, here's its well information. Uh, it's a municipal right. You can pull up its abstract right out of the DNRC database. You can see all of the uh, you can see all of the information that's in the database. It's a year-round right uh, for the town of Baker. You can also pull up a summary that will show you that water right independent of the other rights in your search. Uh, and you can zoom, this is scalable, so you can zoom in as far as you want um, and see that information. And then, uh, depending on the type of right that you find, if you are searching for, um, say, a surface water irrigation right, you can also see its relative uh, priority. So you can pull up the relative priority of a right and see how that stacks up with other rights uh, within a 50 mile radius. And we'll just uh, find some of those. Here we go. Here's an irrigation right. So this will show you the priority feature. And this will show you within 50 miles the upstream juniors and downstream seniors. So you can see where you stand in relation to other water rights. It will show up the stream and all of its tributaries. Oftentimes, when you run queries um, on the state-based tools, you need to run the query by, you need to know the name of each tributary. This will give you a stream in all of its tributaries, and then you can select out the ones you don't want to see. So if you don't want to see unnamed tributaries or spring tributaries, you can filter them out. You can sort and filter by any of these columns. So if you want to see the oldest rights in an area, you just click that, and it sorts it in order of seniority, and you can see here the oldest right within 50 miles is 1882. 
three, you can do the same thing with flow to just see the largest rights, and then um, this is distance in miles away from the diversion that was selected. Gotcha. So you can see how it, how it uh, stacks up that way. That's a powerful tool. Yeah? What do you think? Yeah, it's great. Yeah?